All my work is based on printed matter and printed mechanisms. I've tried to determine different rooms in the exhibition as a particular section. There is a section of the dot and the dot screens. This wallpaper is a definition of the wall, so that declares the wall as image. Because I think there's something to do for the audience to project him or herself into the work you never know. It's, a, it's an open space, it's receptible and I hope it's inviting. These works are all Pirelli portraits and I hung them in this size because I would like the visitor to see a reflection of his own image, his own portrait, intervened by this dot grid pattern. So you see yourself almost schematically as print work. And this room contains pieces of printed matter that I call blackouts. I print a black layer of printing ink on top of things that interested me or things that I like. Uh, it's a gesture of affinity. In order to see a blackout, you have to do, let's say, the choreography of looking, which I think is very important because it makes you look more conscious. You have to reconstruct the image yourself. Something must be done to make looking a conscious act, I think. And next is a, an enlargement of the portrait of Alan Greenspan. And because it's so enlarged, you see that the printing on the back side and the texture of the paper is intervening in the image which is printed. And next is a reproduction of the Tower of Babel, which I crumbled because I didn't want to use it. And then I needed a piece of paper and, and had to take it out of the waste basket. And next, it's a vertical clip, and it deals with representation of the human figure. It looks for figures that are printed from toe to top in their own mono space, and they have to look into the camera to get, let's say, at least the suggestion of a contact between the viewer and the, the figure. And there are several stages in the vertical clip. That means once you're a member, you will be pasted directly on the wall. This is all figures of magazines, of fashion, of publicity. Every figure has a story, every figure comes from somewhere. Because I think that there is no print work that has been made without intentions. These are covers of magazines and I've tried to intensify the, the principle of accumulating time. And they're all around two, four covers superimposed. And it's, it's clear that mostly always the name of the, of the magazine is on the same place, exactly the same place. And that you see the destruction begins with the topography of the content. I think my work deals with the perception of things and it presents different methods of perceiving something differently.